And you know, I wrote a song for a we were doing a lot of gigs with hardcore bands early on, and he thought we were like Martians from Planet Jazz and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I, we were trying to, trying to say to them, not all, you know, just some, and we, that we were weird, and uh, we were just like them. It's just a, a Pedro take on, on the thing, you know? Uh, so I wrote this song called because Dee Boom wrote History Lesson Part 1 on Punchline. So I wrote Part 2 because, I mean, this is what, uh, what you do when a band's about it. You know, you get with your buddy and you, you play. You know? I wasn't really a musician. I got into music to be with him. So I wrote this song here. Our band could be your life. And real names will be proof. Well, this is how I wrote it because I couldn't play the bass line. I kind of took the music from the She Ever Comes Now. I, so I asked Deep Boone to do it, so he changed the word. They go, me and Deep Boone played for years. He said, the punk rock changed our life. We learned punk rock up in Hollywood. Drove up from Pedro. We were fucking going. <laughs> you understand? Right? The English is very liberal that way, huh? <laughs> right? We could be fucking corn, or we could be fucking corn. <laughs> and you know, there was this, there was, I don't know, the 70 thing was Pogo, you know, which by that time, I don't know, they were saying slam. I never heard Bosch, that was uh, later on, someone writing about the former days. So, so I, I said Pogo, just yeah, go drinking Pogo, you know, it's like. <clears throat> Mr. Narrator, and this is Bob Dylan and me. My story could be his songs, I'm a soldier child. Now, we didn't know what words were for in songs when we were boys, we thought it was like, uh, guitar some kind of sound but Dylan seemed like the weird dude uncle or something at Thanksgiving who shows up in his muttering shit <laughs> people ain't paying attention to you but if you're young and tripping on this guy it's like whoa <laughs> the words there's something going on in here so. so that's why I put that like the first idea that words could be something I mean, the whole idea of music being expression still would be honest. But, you know, when we got into this movement, that was a core value we, we felt. Why we dug it. Our band is Scientist Rock. Richard Meltzer called us that in Cream. He wrote words for Blue Oyster Cult. <laughs> we couldn't figure out what those fucking words were. About. <laughs> They'd come in a mail in a computer paper, you know. <laughs> and uh, they'd write the lines, you know, not stanzas like poems. Even better was when Meyer put them all just in a block, like a description of painting. That's where I got that, from Meyer. Minimum was about a lot about learning from other people, what people we thought were pioneers, and uh, give us courage, make us uh, make it safe to go crazy. <laughs> We owe a lot. So I say I was E. Bloom, then Joe Strummer, John Doe, Dick Hale, <laughs> Ian D. Boom, playing guitar. And that's really what 